Pass up the Jeep, it's good to be free. Load up the pans and fishing poles. The highway is long, the wheels turning round. Pack up the cook stove and the bowls. Arlo and I, we hit the open road. Arlo and I are on the road. Hey everybody. Well, it's a cloudy, rainy day today, so I'm inside and I thought I would cook up uh, something interesting. It's an idea I had uh, for a sardine muffaletta, or muffalata if you're from New Orleans. Now, that's a sentence that's probably going to piss off a whole lot of people. You can't put sardines on a muffaletta. Well, I did, and I made a little experiment here. Um, what is a sardine muffaletta? Is it this? A traditional muffaletta with uh, mortadella and salami and ham and cheese and olive salad with the addition of anchovies on top? I don't know if you can see the anchovies in there. Is it this? Is this a sardine muffaletta? Or is this a sardine muffaletta? Now this one has the olive salad, the sardines, uh, but I've also added um, hard-boiled eggs and some escarole to this. Now, I don't know <laughs> which one is going to be uh, the sardine muffaletta. Anyway, let's uh, get started and we'll make these sandwiches and uh, we'll have a taste test and we'll see. So uh, what I have to work with today, so we have our bread. Um, for more of a traditional uh, muffaletta, I have uh, the cold cuts and the cheese. So I have the mortadella, um, some nice salami, some ham, um, some provolone, and some Swiss cheese. Um, we also have uh, some of the olive relish and uh, our sardines. And then for our second one, um, I have, uh, once again, the bread. I have the sardines, the olive relish. Um, to that one, I'm also going to add some hard-boiled eggs and some uh, nice crispy escarole. Okay, for our first sandwich, we have our bread, which I'm going to slice open. And then to this, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. I didn't mention that, but I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to both sides of the bread. And then I'm going to add a little bit of our olive relish bottom here. Just like that. And then I'm going to add our cold cuts. So I'm going to start with the ham, put the ham on there, and then the salami, and then some of the uh, provolone, and uh, Swiss cheese here. Uh, the mortadella and then a little bit more of this olive relish in here just like this and then the part that's going to make it different is the sardines so this time I'm going to use these Matisse uh, small sardines uh, with sweet piquillo pepper I thought the piquillo pepper would be a nice complement to the sandwich. Okay, so open these up. Those look beautiful. And we'll put a layer onto our muffaletta. And then I'm going to put the lid on that. set this one aside over here and then for our second sardine muffaletta or muffalata okay for this one once again I'm gonna start with some olive oil 
I'm going to add the olive relish and then some more of these sardines. Oh, and some of those nice piquillo peppers that are down in there. Put more sardines on this one because we're not going to have the meat on this one. So I'll just finish this up here. Okay, and then I'm going to add some more of the olive relish. And to this, I'm going to add hard boiled eggs. Slice here. Put the hard boiled egg on here, just like that. And then I'm going to top it all off with some of this nice escarole, just like that. All right. And I'm contemplating whether or not this one should have the cheese or not, and I think I'm going to skip it, and we're just going to go with the sandwich, just like this. So actually, let's cut these in half and see what they look like. So this is our sardine muffaletta number two. This is our sardine muffaletta number one. Let's set these here. All right, I'm bringing a napkin because this is going to be a messy sandwich. So let's go ahead and try the first one, which is the more traditional muffaletta with the cold cuts, the cheese, the olive salad. Wow, right off the bat, that is delicious. The cold cuts and the olive salad really um, take over the sandwich and I can barely taste the sardines. Let me take another bite. Now that time I got more of the sardines and well, I think it complements the sandwich really well sort of a surf and turf muffaletta. Oh, really good. I would make that again, for sure. Well, all those flavors with the sardines and the olive salad and the, uh, the cold cuts, um, there's so many flavors, so many things going around in my mouth that um, it just, it tastes really delicious. I think they really complement each other really well. Now this is the sardine muffaletta, which has the olive salad and the uh, sardines um, hard boiled eggs and escarole. Let's try this one. Oh, now that one is amazing too. And definitely for that one, the sardines come forward a lot more because that's the main ingredient in this sandwich. Oh, it's delicious. Now, you could probably argue that this isn't a muffaletta at all. It's probably a pan beignet, um, the French style sandwich, uh, which indeed. It's definitely much more like a pan beignet um, than a muffaletta, but with the sort of Italian style um, jardiner or uh, olive salad, um, I think that uh, we could probably uh, call it whatever we want. Both really delicious. And depending on my mood, I might make either one. All right, so there you go uh, sardine muffaletta, sardine pan beignet. I'm not sure. Um, so, if I were to pick the 
winner as far as uh, what I would call a sardine muffaletta, I would definitely go with this one with the cold cuts and the cheese um, because this one really um, gives the flavor and the, the taste of a muffaletta. Although this one is absolutely delicious, but more like a pen mignon, more in the French style. Although it's not, um, it has its differences, that's for sure, um, but probably closer to that. But, you know, whatever you call it, uh, sardine, muffaletta, sardine, pen beignet, either way, it's super delicious. Uh, if you like this video, please like, uh, please subscribe. That always helps us a lot, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.